Hi ladies, my name is Dawn Stewart. I live in Chicago, Illinois, and I've been writing for Daughters of the King Ministries for just a couple of months and have been so incredibly blessed. I just want you to know, so blessed by the ministry, by the other devotional writers, by Keisha. Um, just really have a heart for what this ministry is all about. And um, I have a story, too, that I really feel like God has been calling me to share for some time now um, in this kind of a, a way, in, in the spoken word. And uh, I just really feel honored to be able to just share some bits and pieces of that story with you. Um, it's really a story of God's beauty um, and in, myth, in the midst, excuse me, of my brokenness. Um, I walked for many years of my life, unaware of the beauty that is God, unaware of His uh, saving power, unaware of the power of the cross and the power of the resurrection. And, you know, um, I went to church my entire life. Like, I went every Sunday with my parents. I went to Catholic school. I had religion class. And when I was in the public school, um, I actually went to CCD and had religion class there. Um, for a while, I was going to church twice a week, so, you know, I knew the stories, um, I knew of God, I knew that there was a God, I believed, uh, my entire life, there was not a point when I didn't believe in God, but I never walked in the power of God, and I never understood the grace of God, and I never saw that there was a relationship to be had with God, that He wasn't like some God way out there, but He was a God that longed to be right here uh, within me. And that all I needed to do was ask Him, was invite Him in. Um, that took me some time. In fact, I was 35 years old before I asked the Lord to come into my heart, and uh, I'm 39 now, so uh, you can do the math on that. But the Lord has really, really given me such a heart, such a, a burden, if you will, for for women especially who still walk unaware of the amazing reality of how beautiful God is and His grace and His mercy and His forgiveness, His kindness and His compassion and His long-suffering. Thank you, Jesus, for His long-suffering. He is so patient. Um, what I'd like to share with you today is from Psalm 18, and it is, uh, I'd like to start with verse 4 and read to you through verse 6. So it says, The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard me. He heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. Girls, that just blows my mind. Um, because those verses right there, that was my life. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. My story starts, um, well, it starts when I was born, but uh, my redemption story starts in the year 2010 when I came face to face with a very ugly reality, and that was that uh, I was an alcoholic. Um, 33 years old, yeah, 33 years old at the time, 34 maybe. Um, three children, and I came face to face with the fact that I was an alcoholic. Um, it didn't come slowly. The knowledge of this came very quickly. Um, I believe it came through re revelation. Uh, from the Lord because he was ready. He was calling me into recovery because he had a plan and a purpose for my life. Um, I love that verse, by the way, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, never to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. God had that for me. Um, I was standing in the kitchen at my parents' house after a long weekend of drinking. And I was standing in there with my two-year-old son. 
my life had been spiraling out of control for like the past year previous to this moment. Um, my marriage was disintegrating. My interior uh, peace was all but gone. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with presenting yourself one way on the outside, well kept, you know, clean, neat, um, presentable, hold, holding a job, raising children, you know, everything from the outside looked okay, but on the inside, I was literally dying. I was falling apart. Um, for some time, I had questioned my drinking, but I was not aware of my alcoholism, um, because quite frankly, uh, I was uneducated in that area. Um, I didn't know about addiction. So that morning, my dad walked in the house when I was in his kitchen and told me that a woman, um, whom we both, both knew as an alcoholic had killed herself that morning. Um, it was very sad actually. She, she just had it, the disease. Um, she couldn't, she couldn't escape. And so she escaped, um, by, by jumping in front of a train. And that was um, the moment, literally, that God opened my eyes. And he showed me that I was headed in that same direction. Now, mind you, I was walking at that point of my life without a relationship with God. So the fact that he literally opened my eyes um, is amazing to me. It was a miracle. Um, I stepped into recovery the very next day. Um, my journey is, uh, you know, not complete with that, of course, but let me tell you that I do stand on the other side of five years of sobriety. So praise Jesus for that. Um, but what he has done in me from that moment when I stood in that kitchen and the awareness that I was an alcoholic came over me to the place where I sit before you today in my war room, <laughs> presenting a message to you um, and the fact that there is hope, a hope beyond anything you can imagine um, when we step into our brokenness and face it and look at it. Instead of doing what I did for many years prior to that was run from it, deny it, avoid it, evade it, try to escape from it. It didn't work so well for me. We are all broken. We are broken because Adam and Eve committed the sin in the garden and the fall because through one man we all became transgressors, sinners. But praise the Lord, through one man we are all saved. I would love to share more of my journey with you, um, perhaps on another message like this one day, or perhaps through my writing. Um, but God is good, and there is beauty in brokenness, um, and that beauty is God. So I just um, I felt the Lord encouraging me to to do this today, and I don't know if it will bless you. I pray that it will. But I believe there's somebody who needed to hear this today and who needs to know that there is hope. Let me close with another set of verses from Psalm 18. This time I am starting verse 16 and reading through verse 19. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Amen.